fifty percent of the people were asking about my stipend. If someone saves all of his stipend money, then he can definitely buy a. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nandish Sharma. And first of all, I would like to thank you all that who uh, who watched my previous video. I have got around two lakh views on my video. That is like, that is the most I have ever got on my channel. So um, thank you so much, guys. So I had announced in my previous video that I will be doing uh, a Q and A video in which I will be answering all your questions. So this is the video in which I'm going to answer all your questions. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking of doing uh, this video in parts, like part one, part two. and uh, i will try to answer some question in this part and some question in another um video which i will be uploading soon but yeah so uh, let's start the video guys with the first question so the first question is from uh, isha more like she has a set of questions so, so the first question is what was your strategy to clear ca inter i did not have any strategy what i can i can tell you what i did and what i did was i tried to complete all my classes and then i made sure that i at least complete all the material that has been provided uh, by my teachers like uh, you know everything that was done in the class i had done it lot of times and in an in intermediate i i took classes for all the subjects so yeah i i tried to complete i tried to complete all the material that was given by uh, by the teachers and and yeah that's it and and try to and i tried to stick to icai uh language for the theory part because it's it's very important to answer in icai's language because that's when you get the most mark second question is what is your stipend so um, a lot of you have asked me this question i'm going to answer later in the video so keep on watching So is is Noida your hometown or you have just came here for architecture? So uh, no, Noida is not my hometown. I was born brought up in Delhi, but then I shifted to Noida. So oh uh, yeah, Noida is not my hometown, and I'm not shifted here only for architecture. Can you tell us your strategy for C final and how you gonna manage? This is if it is possible that please explain in short. So what I have thought of my C A final is that. I have thought of completing my CA final classes six months prior to my CA final attempt. And second strategy is to do lots of uh, lots of mock tests. Mm, yeah, so doing lot of mock tests, completing your classes six months prior to my uh, attempt. That's what my strategy is for CA final. For now, what is your total working hours? So working hours varies a lot, but my working hours are never less than eight hours. It's either eight hours or more than eight hours. So oh, minimum there are eight hours, and obviously it extends more than eight hours. And sometimes you have to work on uh, Saturday, Sunday as well. Not sometimes, most of the time you have to work on Saturday, Sundays. What are the types of questions that were asked in interviews? So there are a lot of dom different domains, and it de the types of question depends on that uh, on the domain that you are uh, you know interviewing for. So for example, uh, if you're interviewing for audit. you will be asked a lot of audit questions questions on audit questions on standard auditing and 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 you know similar questions and and if you are uh, giving your interview for a tax position then then you uh, then you will be asked a lot of questions from uh, income tax or from you know from indirect taxes um, etc the interview contains it contains questions about you and the technical part as well and according to you what is the best strategy to clear any stage of ca So um uh, what i feel is that the best strategy is to give lot of mock test by giving mock test you are aware you become aware you know that where you are lacking and then you can just work you know improve uh you know, improve on the areas where you are lacking and that's it that's that's the best strategy to clear any ca exams in which firm you are currently are and how did you clear the interview i'm currently I'm in Grand Thornton, and I try to give all the answers honestly. And as per my knowledge and the question that I also didn't know the answer of, I I just uh, you know directly told the interviewer that I don't know this answer. Just honestly answer the questions, and you will clear it. And be confident. Confident is the key. You need to be confident in order to you know clear any interview. Akshi Singh has asked. Can you tell us in which department you are working in GT? So um, I'm working in indirect tax department, 
and indirect tax uh, as the name suggests it contains uh, gst customs and uh, scz as well uh, what all you have learned in article ship till now so i have completed around 12 months uh, in my article ship and uh, before joining gt i was in a, in a large uh, indian firm where i was uh, doing work related to audit in which i got the opportunity to do statutory audit internal audit and also tax audit so in that i did uh, so uh, tax audit i did of a very uh, very famous uh, publishing company if you have heard of that i i did tax audit of uh, bloomsbury which is uh, the most famous uh, publication uh, the most famous work is harry potter they uh, publish harry potter books then i did internal audit of uh, agrochemical company and uh, in which i was sent uh, for an optician audit so that was a really nice experience yeah i did statutory audit as well of uh, of, a, of a glass bottle manufacturer so uh, yeah i've done audit and then after like 2 3 months i switched to grand thornton in grand thornton i have been working with gst in the gst domain first of all you are given the compliance work where you are taught how to um, you know uh, file returns there are uh, monthly the monthly returns that you need to file as a as an article so you need to file that and then you have work such as litigation uh, and then also you have to uh, you know go to the department as well and uh, you have to meet with the officers in, in in the gst department how you got into gt okay so how i got into gt uh, so it was like a, uh, there was another article who had posted vacancy on linkedin so what i did was i immediately i uh, sent him a connection request and uh, messaged him regarding uh, the vacancy i told him that i want to uh, join grand thornton and i i sent my uh, resume to him and then you know after some time so after that after like one two week i got so i got a call from the hr department of grand thornton asking about me about my uh, attempt and you know all the first of all all the basic questions there was a telephonic conversation between me and the resource department of the grand thornton and um, so then she told me that you know, she is scheduling my interview for the first round with the manager so my uh, so my first round of interview was conducted 3 days after i got a call from the hr and first of all i was asked the introductory questions you know tell me about yourself or why do you want to join gst and and what not and and then and then uh, it went into the technical aspect of uh, the domain right so i was asked technical questions relating to gst everything related to gst i was asked so after one week i got a call uh for the next round and that next round was uh, taken by the director of grand thornton so now i what i thought was that uh, you know after the first round uh, i'm already selected and i won't be asked more technical questions because a lot of my friends had told me that you know the second round the director round uh, the director round is a chill round but in my director round as well i was asked a lot of technical questions and that also went for um, around 40 minutes so so yeah that's how my interview went and uh, after like after one or two weeks of the director round that was the second round i i got a call that i have been um, selected also when i got the confirmation call that i have been selected in gt i was about to join another firm and there's a there's a whole lot different story and i will tell that in some later video But next yeah. question is from Sneha. She has asked about my CA journey. First of all, uh, I don't think my CA journey is complete, so I won't be uh, you know answering this question because I I believe that you know once my CA journey is complete, once I become a chartered accountant, then it's it's then it will be better to uh, you know tell my CA journey. So so another uh, video will come. You know, a separate video will come for my CA journey. So um, yeah, so I will answer this question when I uh, when I will become a chartered accountant. Your thoughts on CA with graduation or without it? Obviously, uh, CA with graduation is better because you know you never know if you you never know you know what may happen in the future. It's like you uh, it's like now you want to do like right now you want to do CA, but uh, you know 
throughout the course throughout this course you may you know uh, change your mind you may have a change of mind and uh, if you want to pursue something else then you should at least have a graduation degree with you so that's why a lot of people do uh, bcom with ca you can at least do uh, from correspondence then uh, it's 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 it will be really safe so so i am definitely in favor of doing graduation with ca because you never know what when you may change um, your thought about ca right right now you want to do it but later on you may have a change of thought and you want to pursue something else you want to do mba maybe you want to go out you know you maybe you want to go out of india so uh, so you should at least have a graduation degree with you so saket shankar has asked does attempt matter in big four so uh, definitely attempt does not matter in big four i have seen people who have cleared ca inter in four attempts and they are working in big four it's better that you clear ca inter as soon as possible but uh, it may help you get the interview done but what matters a lot is how do you give your interview you know you have to be confident enough and then uh, attempts become secondary also to you know brush up your uh, technical skills as well you know so these things are uh, important rather than attempts and uh, do they allow for industrial training uh, yeah definitely all all big com- all big firms allow industrial training do they consider articles having cleared only one group uh, so no uh, any any big firm any big firm like big four or grand thornton or bdo they they prefer people they prefer articles who have completed both their groups right so it it's very difficult to get into grand thornton with only one group clear you have to complete both the groups then only you will be able to then only you will have a chance to um, to have article ship in grand thornton or or any any other uh, big firm so guys coming on to the one of the most um, requested question <laughs> on my on my previous video that is how much stipend i get and this question has been asked by a lot of you and almost around almost out of all the questions that i got i think 80% of the people were asking <laughs> about my stipend definitely um, i won't be able to tell you the exact figures if someone saves all of his stipend money then he can definitely buy a car out of it the person can buy a small hatchback if he saves all the money that he gets in the an article ship and definitely it's a lot when you compare to other uh, ca firms so it is one of the factors of joining a big firm that you get a better stipend a better work culture so i will definitely recommend everyone to uh, you know try to get into one of the best firms that you can and never settle for small firms so um, yeah that's what i would like to tell that's why i made my previous video to encourage all of you uh you know to to work hard and try to um, get into the big firms if you think that this video was helpful then do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel guys bye bye take care and adios